I think law and economics is a case study of intellectual progress. There's a kind of humbleness to law and economics that distinguishes it from other fields. It's about the individual. Why do individuals make the decisions that they do? The main contribution is something you don't even see. It's not to policy and it's not to outcomes. It's to the mindset. All legal tools are efforts to influence people or to serve people's needs. But if you don't understand what motivates them, then it's very difficult to do your job uh, as a lawyer. So if the law student wants to understand the law today, use his or her career to improve society, that student should know something about law and economics. Economic thinking and economic analysis helps lawyers do everything that they do better using methods that are rigorous and yet appropriate to the question to answer those interesting puzzles in life. We, with some regularity, reach conclusions that make people uncomfortable and conflict with their priors. Thorough law and economics analysis means a lot of work with epistemic humility. The more I learn, the more I realize how little I know and how much harder answers are. I think my, I, I become much more tolerant of people who disagree with me. What's distinctive about what economics has to offer is it gives us predictive power. We can start making predictions that we can test against data. We can find out if our predictions and models are wrong. It's practical. Economic analysis can be really important for figuring out how policies work, whether in fact they do leave people better off. One of the beauties of law and economics as an inherently interdisciplinary set of lenses for viewing the world is the ability to combine multiple methodologies to gain greater insights. What law and economics adds to law is rigor, and what it adds to economics is deep understanding of institutional detail. Applying good data to legal problems remains crucial. And the problem is policymakers very often are not terribly interested in evidence because it might give them answers they don't like. I just see it as a tool among many, a particularly useful tool in my judgment, much more useful than just about anything else that I can see in social science for analyzing the effectiveness of legal rules, the effectiveness of regulation. It's not ideological, it's truth-seeking. I really can't think of an area of law that hasn't been fundamentally changed in terms of the way we think about it as a consequence of economic analysis. Predicting outcomes in cases, understanding the consequences in the real world for changes in the law. Basically, all of the concepts of modern tort law, contract law, property law, various other areas of law have been transformed by economic analysis. Law and economics does a masterful job of predicting cases. Whether you're in a court or in front of an administrative agency or you're lobbying in front of the legislature, understanding those basic principles makes you much more powerful. You are not going to truly understand how law works unless you understand empirical reality. So I think every student, no matter what politics that student has, should appreciate and learn from law and economics. <laughs>